Search engine optimization is something every online entrepreneur should be doing. The better you are at it, the more potential customers you can attract to your store. Sound good? Great, because today we're going to introduce you to the art of search engine optimization. Hi everyone, it's Mark from Oberlo. Welcome to our beginner's guide to search engine optimization. This is a huge topic. We could speak for days about it, but don't worry, this video will sum up all of the basics in just a few minutes. We're going to cover the essentials. So if you haven't done search engine optimization before, but you want to get started, then this video is here to help. And so are all of the videos on the Oberlo YouTube channel. We produce all of our videos to help e-commerce store owners improve their businesses and to get sales. So click subscribe to hear from us more often. We're always posting new content to help you succeed. By the end of this video, you will know what some of the technical terminology means. You will know exactly what search engine optimization is and why it's so important for e-commerce business owners. Then we'll see how search engine optimization works. We also have a quick SEO checklist for you. You can use it right after this video to help you get started with search engine optimization tactics. And to finish, we will point you in the right direction if you want to take your understanding of search engine optimization to the next level. So that's it, just a couple of points to cover. So let's get started with the most pressing question. What exactly is search engine optimization? Here is a short definition. Search engine optimization is the process of maximizing the number of organic visitors to a website. This is done by ensuring a website appears high on the list of results generated by a search engine. If any of that definition sounds alien to you, then take a look at this. Here we are using a search engine to check for information about dropshipping. Google is a search engine, so is Bing, so is Yahoo. There are loads more. When you use a search engine to look for something, you end up seeing a search results page. We all know what they look like, and here's the results page for our search. Oberlo wants to be the first thing that people see when they search online for information on dropshipping. To do that, Oberlo has to use search engine optimization techniques, and we're pretty good at it, which is why we are almost at the top of this search results page here. But why does being at the top matter? Let's think about it and look at these stats. These numbers show the click-through rate for each position on Google's page one ranking. We can expect user behavior to be similar across search engines. The top position has a click-through rate of just one-fifth of the percentage of web browsers who click on a link in a search results page. Second and third place have a share of around 13% each. Positions four to 10 are all beneath 10%. So why does being top matter? Because generally, the higher up in the rankings you are, the more traffic you can expect. The same logic applies to your online store. The higher you are on the search results pages, the more people you'll be able to attract to your store. And the more people you get into your store, the higher your chances are of making sales. But here is something to remember. Studies suggest that up to 95% of all traffic online comes from page one of search engines. That leaves the rest of the internet from page two on scrapping for 5% of traffic. That's a pretty tight squeeze. So the take home here is to optimize to get your website on page one of search engine results pages. Are we clear on why search engines are so important for online businesses? Good, because now we're going to look at how search engine optimization works. Search engines rank web pages according to a complex algorithm that takes into account hundreds of factors. Search engines do not reveal what all of these factors are, but through research and observation, search engine marketers have worked out that it all boils down to how relevant and how engaging a web page is. The more relevant and engaging a website is, the higher it will appear in search engine rankings. The factors you just saw on that slide are vital for enhancing relevance and engagement. When you optimize these factors, your website climbs up the search rankings. We are only talking about one of these factors today. You'll discover the rest of them as you move further along your journey of understanding search engine optimization. We're going to touch on keywords because keywords are one of the main elements of search engine optimization. Keywords are the words and phrases in your website's content that make it possible for people to find you via search engines. They enhance your relevance. So to get your keyword strategy right, you need to know how people are looking for the product that your website offers. That way, you make it easy for them to find you online. By running a successful keyword strategy, you will rank higher in the search results than your competitors. Finding the right keywords is a delicate process involving both trial and error, but the basics are easy to grasp. Use the Google Ads Keyword Planner. With this free tool, you can find keywords for your online business. Simply enter a term which is relevant to your online store. Let's say you sell oil diffusers. 
Simply type oil diffusers into the ideas feature of the keyword planner, like we have here. In a flash, the planner will give you a bunch of relevant keywords that people are looking for online. Pick the ones that are relevant to your business and the products and services you sell, and then begin writing optimized content for those keywords. Search engines will recognize that your website has content that people are searching for. In turn, the search engine will see that your site is relevant to web users. And remember, relevance is one of the most important factors for search engine rankings. The Ideas Keyword Planner is great for helping you appear to a wider audience. For example, you may be selling oil diffusers, but tons of people are searching for essential oil diffuser. Although it's essentially a synonym for oil diffuser, it's one that gets loads more searches than oil diffuser. All you need to do then is use this keyword in your content. All right, that's enough on keywords for now. You will learn plenty more about them and how to write keyword optimized text when you take your next steps in learning about search engine optimization. But if you just can't wait to get started with optimization, you'll love the checklist we have prepared for you. If you're completely new to search engine optimization, then don't worry. This checklist is simple enough for beginners to follow. There will be more work to do down the road, but you can get started by covering these four basics of search engine optimization for e-commerce business owners. Start by writing title tags for your store. It's easy to see title tags. When you hover your mouse over a tab, you see words like inbox, Obelo, Facebook. They are quick signs that help you keep track of where you are online. Search engine results recognize and also show these title tags. You can see where they are with this image. Potential customers will use page titles to decide how relevant your store is in a search results page. So you should ensure that all of your store's pages have relevant and concise title tags. If you own a Shopify store, then you can quickly write title tags for each of your pages. That includes product pages, collections pages, blog posts, FAQs, and more. When it comes to writing title tags, keep them between 50 to 60 characters, as that's the optimal length. And most search engines won't show anything longer than that. Make sure to include your store name and incorporate the keyword that you want to rank for. Two. Improve meta descriptions. Title tags are not the only things that search engine results pages show. They also contain meta descriptions. That is a text you have probably noticed a little lower down, beneath where the title tags are. As we can see here, search engines do not use meta descriptions when ranking your store, but they still matter, even if Google doesn't care much about them. Because guess who does care? Your customers. People read meta descriptions and they use them to help them decide which page to click on. Here are three key parts to a good meta description. One, make sure your meta descriptions are engaging, relevant, and enticing enough to get people to click through to your store. Use a clear call to action, like shop now to entice them. Two, include keywords. Google doesn't rate your meta descriptions, but users will look for them to determine whether your page is relevant to their search. Google rewards this relevance by bolding words in your meta descriptions that match what the user searched for. That is a very strong visual cue that can help lead to clicks. And three, keep meta descriptions under 160 characters. Google cuts off descriptions that go over this amount. It just looks sloppy if you go over and it's less compelling for potential customers. You can write and edit your meta descriptions for your store by going to the settings section of your Shopify admin page portal. Let's get back to our e-commerce SEO checklist with point number three. Optimize alt text and file names. So, what is alt text? Alt text is a short text description attached to an image that goes with a visual on a website. These always matter for your search engine optimization because search engines cannot see images the way humans can. So search engines rely on the alt text for an idea of what the picture's content is about. Your e-commerce store will likely have lots of images that help sell your products. Write descriptive alt text that include keywords for all of your visuals and your pages will gain a higher visibility. Let's say you run a store selling beach games and are uploading a suitable product image something like a child playing in the sand with one of your products. You can upload the image without alt text, but you miss an opportunity to improve the optimization of your page. Writing something as simple as child is a little better, but it's not great. Child on beach is much more descriptive, but it's not enough. The best would be something like child on vacation playing beach frisbee game. Here's a pro tip. Whatever you decide on for an image's alt text, use that same text to name the image file. When you upload images to your store, avoid using typical file names. 
I know it's easy to write the file name with things like a bunch of random letters and numbers, but you should know that Google uses the image's file names to learn more about the image and to determine whether it's worth showing in search results. So in this case, use a file name like boy on vacation playing beach frisbee game and help Google find your store quicker for relevant keywords. And remember, use hyphens in between each word in your file name. Google is not that good of a reader. Without the hyphens, it will just see one long, incomprehensible word, like this. Point four on our checklist will help you play by the rules, because search engines are worse than your fifth grade math teacher when it comes to punishing cheating. And what's the first rule in class? It's no copying. If you copy large chunks of keyword optimized text from someone else's page, the search engine will find out about it. And when it does, it will punish you by moving your store's website lower down the rankings. So, while writing your own title tags, meta descriptions, and alt texts may be a lot of work, it's worth it, especially if you want search engines to show your website to the maximum amount of potential customers. All right. By now, you should have an understanding of the basics of search engine optimization. The basics are great and we all have to start somewhere. But once you're comfortable at this stage and have some keywords and you've ticked off items from our checklist, we recommend you do some further reading. The first link in the description below is to a blog post. It will help you through some more advanced steps in search engine optimization. And when you're ready, get off YouTube and go and download our free ebook, 50 Ways to Get Sales with Dropshipping. Chapter 27 is all about search engine optimization and it will raise your search engine optimization game. Just follow the link to the ebook chapter below. Have you already search engine optimized your store? What's working? What's bombing? Let us know, we answer every comment. Thank you for watching, until next time, learn often, market better and sell more.